Okay, um, Phyllis, this is Sherry. I just wanted to um, help you out with this. I know this is recording there. Okay, this is the way that your final tab should look in the answer sheet. And so this is what your starting sheet look like. And um, let's start with the Austin theme. So my I have my screen split so that you can see the instructions. But the Austin theme, if you just click themes and Austin, that is where it's just themes and Austin. That is what it's looking for. If you don't have the Austin theme right here, it means you don't have Office 2010 Professional. And um, that's okay. Just um, I will give you credit for that and that only matters a couple times. So here's the tab issue. The instructions give you the step-by-step, step-by-step uh, um, steps, step -by -step steps to do when on number three. So I don't have time on this video to read each of those steps. I'm just gonna show you and know that what I'm showing you right here goes exactly with what is over here on instruction number three. So the first thing is your instruction says select the board of directors under the board of directors heading and then go to um, page layout tab, page layout, and then expand the paragraph ribbon. So here's the paragraph expansion and you want to expand that, pick indents and spacing, and then right down here, the tabs button. You're going to click tabs. At the tab stop position, you need to put in four. And in the leader section of the tabs dialog window, you need to put in, you need to click two. And when you click OK, that makes that tab stop dotted tab stop for at leader position two. So that is the answer to that one. And I'm checking on the spacing issue for you right now. I'm going to go ahead and send this. Thanks. Bye.